Hey guys, so my name is Andrew Gittner. I'm going to be your English teacher for this year. Uh, I'm teaching one section of online English and then five sections of English 10. And if you're a sophomore, it's likely that you'll meet me this year. And I have to say, I'm grateful for that. I'm excited to meet you. Uh, quick, who am I? I moved from Colorado to New York. I have seven years teaching. Some of the things that I find really important are empathy, humility, and willingness. And I can throw a disc golf disc like between 350 and 375, but I kind of got tinnitus now from trying to do that. But you don't really care about me. You're here because of you. And I care about that too. So I put a lot of thought into this. And here's the question, like, what are we going to learn over the next few months together? Uh, first, I like to focus on a lot of philosophy through literature. I think the most important thing that we can do is learn how to be humans and how our humanity fits in the larger scope of the humanity. So that breaks down to a couple questions, a couple ideas. And keep in mind, this is loose. This might change. First, we're going to look a little bit at why are we the way they are. Um, we're going to talk a little bit briefly about the social contract. Then we're going to talk about what happens when we break it. We're going to move to your power as a human to comment on aspects of our society and sort of communicate that out in a way that might be effective. And last, we're going to talk about one possible theory of why the world is the way it is and why we are the way we are. So the next thing that we're going to the next thing you might want to know, and if you're wondering this, it's a good year to wonder this. What might the class look like? There are some things I don't know yet, but I can promise you this. There's going to be a mix of class activities. We're not just, it's not just going to be videos of me talking to you. Um, I'm going to really try to do a lot so that you, you talk to each other about the course content. Um, we're going to read stuff. We're going to write stuff. We're going to talk about stuff and we're going to think about things. We're going to do that through a mix of class activities, like I mentioned. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Google Classroom is going to look like, but I will explain that in day one. I, I do have a different grading policy than most other classes. Um, I think it's a lot fairer to you, honestly, and I'm pretty married to it. But I'll explain that more when we get into class. Or if you have questions, you can ask in the, the Zoom meet. Um, and what you might do in a typical class is we might do some like... I give you directions, you read something, you talk about it with other people. Um, in person, we might do some more hands-on things. We're going to do probably some more Socratic seminar style discussions. But when we're online, we're probably going to do a lot of small group discussions. Um, what materials do you need for class? And this, I'm going to go through a little fast, so feel free to pause and like write stuff down. Um, you're definitely going to need an internet-enabled device. School Chrome, Chromebook is going to be best. Lower bandwidth, around two megabytes per second up and download speed, can work for running a Zoom call, like bare minimum. Um, by the way, I do use Zoom for whole class meetings and for your individual breakout rooms. So I'll help you guys like troubleshoot that on the first day. But access is really important to me. So I've got it worked out. So regardless of how much internet you get, you can participate in class in real time. That being said, I really do need you to, to share with me if that's a struggle right now. Um, what materials do you need for class? You need a notebook and folder. On my website, I make a passion argument for why you should take handwritten notes. You really are going to need a notebook and folder. There's probably one piece of paper each unit that I'm going to give you. Um, and I have to work out a system for doing that. So stay tuned for more. But I think that writing things down is one of the most fundamental human things. It's why we have a society and we're going to practice that. It's also better than typing it for memory recall. You're also going to need whatever book or text we're reading and the capacity to annotate it. I strongly recommend that you have books that you could, that are like on paper, you know, old school, because our eyes are going to bleed or you're going to need to invest in, I lost my blue light glasses if you don't. So make yourself like, make sure you do. Um, if we're in person, when we're in person, you're going to need your own dry erase marker. Uh, I'm not loading mine out for obvious reasons. And this is something you need to bring every day. It's crucial. It's vital. And without this, nothing else will work. You need to bring as much willingness as you can muster on any given day. How to be successful. If you're constructive, if you try, and if you trust that people are 
trying to work in good faith, you will be successful. I guarantee. Um, this page is supposed to be my website. Whoops. Um, but on my website, there's a how students are successful in my classes thing. Here's how to contact me. These links won't work in a video, but I get back to email within 48 business hours guaranteed. And if I don't, it's because something weird happened. Uh, I get back to Google chat for students. Uh, parents might be able to do that. I'm not exactly sure. You can text me at this Google voice number, 720-819-6389. Please include your name if you're a student. And if you're a parent or guardian, please include your name and the name of your students. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, please don't get mad at me for not responding outside of work. You know, uh, sometimes it's hard to keep like a work-life balance. So I will get back to you within 48 school hours, I promise but you're also not going to be punished because I missed an email. It'll work out. Um, thanks. I'm excited to talk to you. I'm excited to see you. I will see you in class.